so many children today are struggling with chronic ongoing stress. They are stressed all day. All the little events of their lives make them feel anxious or fearful or um, unable to cope or incompetent. And they go to sleep at night stressed. They wake up during the day stressed. And when children have this kind of chronic ongoing stress, it causes the adrenal glands to secrete the hormone called cortisol. And because the stress is chronic, there is this constant secretion of cortisol and high levels of cortisol are extremely dangerous for the body and for the brain. In fact, it's even been shown that high levels of stress and cortisol in children can shrink the brain because it destroys brain cells. Something else happens when the child has ongoing stress. Not only is there this constant secretion of cortisol, but there is also a condition that it causes which is called systemic inflammation. And with systemic inflammation, it's kind of like a smoldering fire, an inflammation that is traveling through the body of a child into the brain and is causing the child to develop what looks like learning behavior and mood disorders, but it's not a disorder. It is simply symptoms of the stress, the cortisol, the um, and the inflammation. What I'm saying is that I don't believe that there are learning behavior or mood disorders. I think that these are symptoms of stress and that means we must deal with the stress. Too often the stress is not dealt with. Perhaps the healthcare practitioner remarks that there's possibility of stress in the child's life but nobody is really stopping and saying the original trigger for what looks like a learning behavior or mood problem is stress. So let's go back and deal with the stress instead of treating the symptoms. For me, there's just too much treating of symptoms happening and not enough of the underlying root causes. And of course, there are many underlying root causes, but stress is the original trigger that sets up all kinds of other problems.